Okay, one of the new features we've added uh, recently is the lyric pad. So let's start with a, a very simple piece of music. And I would like to add some lyrics to this. Uh, you can guess what they might be. Um, so to start with that, um, I can hit the pad button and you'll see lyric arranger here. So I'll push that. Now the bottom part of the screen is now a panel where I can start typing, uh, which we'll talk about in a minute. The top part of the screen has a cursor in purple. That's telling me where the lyrics are going to start. Um, I'm going to push the first note. So I just touch on the grey area up the top there and I can move that marker. Um, it's worth knowing that a lot of the editing functions use that grey selection bar, we call it. Um, down the bottom here I can start putting some lyrics in. Now, I can get these into the song in a number of different ways. I can either type them or I might choose to import them from a text file. So uh, either using uh, something like Dropbox or using a, um, a iTunes I can take a text file and I can save it into the app's uh, documents folder. Um, once I've done that I can import it in as text and, and that can save a lot of time. Um, let's uh, assume though here that I'm typing it in. So I start by touching the insert button and now I get a, a text editor coming up. Um, so I'm going to just type in the words and I might want to use different syllables so I'm going to type in the different syllables as different words. Okay, so now I've done that, I'll hit the dismiss button, get rid of the keyboard. Okay, now, first thing you'll notice here is the lyrics have come in down the bottom, but they're not associated with any notes, and the app draws them in a different colour uh, to show you that. Now, an important point here is if I now save this song, it's not going to save the lyrics that I haven't associated. So it's most important, uh, if you're using this feature, to make sure that you do um, complete any lyrics that you've entered before you exit the app. Okay, so um, each word here is, is highlighted in green. Um, I can edit a word later just by touching it in green, and you can see I can have more than one word edited. Okay, now you might be wondering why I would want to do that. And the answer is to do with syllables and, and breaking things up. So let's say, for example, um, had and a are both on the one um, note. I can highlight both of them here, and then I can touch the join button. And what that'll do is combine them so that that now becomes a single lyric under a single note. Um, in the same way I can hit split and, and break them out again. Okay, so it's very useful to be able to highlight lines. Um, if I wanted to start a new verse um, I, or a new line, I can just hit the line button or the verse button, touch it again, and I can undo. Okay, so I'm going to put it all back. Um, so I can insert, I can edit by just highlighting a word and then touching edit again. I can add new lines, I can add new verses. Um, I can then join and split. Um, I can also duplicate um, different words. Um, so I might have a, a chorus, for example, that I might want to uh, make a duplicate of. Um, and then you get to link and unlink. Okay, so linking is very easy. I, I touch the first word, I line up the cursor with the first lyric, and I touch the link. And you'll see what it's done there is it's added the lyric under the note. It's shown now in black to say that it's been associated, and it's moved the cursor to the next lyric. So I touch link again, and I keep doing it. And it will progressively go through the whole song. So I now have lyrics in the song. Okay, um, what else can I do here? Well, um, I can highlight a word and I can say locate and it will change the cursor position up the top to that word position. So if I've got lyrics loaded, and often if you've loaded um, karaoke or um, uh, MIDI files with lyrics, you can bring up the words, highlight a, a word there and go straight to that part of the song. So that, that's very powerful from an editing point of view. Um, 
you might have noticed that I could put the lyrics in completely and ignore the music. I don't have to worry about the music. So um, it, it's very powerful from a songwriting point of view um, because I don't have to worry about how it all fits until later. And if I was focused on the lyrics, I can also hit the full screen button here and, and make it take over the whole screen and just put all of my energy into um, to writing the words. Um, it also has a uh, pinch to zoom. So if I want, I can zoom in, make the writing bigger. Um, that can be very, very useful for those of us who, uh, who wear glasses. Um, pinch out, I can make it any size I like. Okay, so um, just whatever suits. And I can do that while the song is playing as well. So um, when I hit the play button here, you'll see that the, uh, the lyrics actually um, uh, highlight as the song is played. So um, makes it very, very useful um, you know, from a performing point of view. I got the words in front of me. I can see where they are, where I'm up to in the song. Uh, karaoke obviously um, uh, makes it useful. But just for um, associating the lyrics in and making the lyric exercise um, as powerful an editing feature as the rest of the editing we have for notation, uh, one of the aims of Symphonics Evolution is to bring all of the different aspects or elements of music production into a single app, and I think we've achieved that with the lyric screen.